Okay, let's talk about how to use short responses to another person's statement. Okay, so that's what this really is. Do you know that Americans do this a lot? Have you heard people saying this a lot? Oh, me too. Me neither. How many of you have heard that before? A lot. A lot, right? Yes. It's very common, very common. This is how we respond to show a person that we also have or do that thing and or we don't do it uh, like them. So what we need to do when we're doing this is to look at the negation of the original. So in the first one, you can see it says, I can't speak French. So if we have a can't, is going to determine our response. We cannot use me too. We cannot use me too if we have a I negative know. form, yeah, in the sentence, okay? So it looks like everybody answered well for this because we did not use to. We can use the me neither or me either. Uh, both of these have the same meaning. And I know that's kind of strange because in our last class, we talked about how the in form has a special way to use, you know, special use and the, the starting with either has another way. But when we're giving these short responses, these two are equal. Me neither, me either. They both mean the same thing as I can't. I can't speak French. So I can't speak French. And then your friend or partner says, I can't speak French. So you both have the same uh, response or the same situation. You can say me neither or me either. Two gave us another example of what we can use. We can do this with the auxiliary, neither can I. This one has to be with the N, okay? Neither can I, so she did that correctly. Now, here's my question though. What if you say I can't speak French, but I want to respond, but actually I can French? Je parle un peu. I can speak a little bit. How do we respond to that? We use the but, but I can. But, but, but I, I can too. But I can. Nope. We only use but if it's the first speaker. The first speaker will say, I can't speak French, but my friend can. Or that's that has to be combined with the first sentence one speaker okay yeah in this case we have two different speakers yeah. not going to use the but any connector yeah there's no connector that we need to use okay here's what we're going to do i i put it up here in the red letters you can just i can so if two says hey teacher i can't speak i will say oh i can so basically what we're doing is we're taking the auxiliary and we're, we're taking off the negative. And this is a short way to respond. Oh. So you might hear somebody say, oh, well, I don't know how to drive or I can't drive. And you can say, oh, I do. I don't know how to drive. Well, I do. I'll take you. Or if somebody says, um, oh, I can't drive to work today, then you can say, I can. See, it's a short way of showing the opposite of what they said. If they use a negative, you're showing it with affirmative. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. So let's do a practice with you, Walter. Walter, I can't speak. Oh, I can. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Um, two, two, I can't speak Spanish. I can. You can? Yes. I can. Hablame en español, por favor. 
I just you... uh, see. I know see. <laughs> <laughs> I just know see. Okay. <laughs> you know two words. Oh, that doesn't count. Okay, so two two should probably say oh. <laughs> Okay, let's do one with Amani. Hey, Amani, I can't speak Swahili. <laughs> uh, you say you can't? Can, can you repeat? I said I can't. Oh, I can. There you go. Good. Okay. Let's see. Maha. Maha, I can't. I can't speak Spanish. I can't. You can? Yeah. I don't know if it's okay. <laughs> what do you know in Spanish? Tell me tell me something in Spanish. Como estás? Bien, bien. Hola. Okay. Oh, you guys are so confident. I think I have a class that's very confident here. <laughs> All right. Um, Chu and Maha now are Spanish speakers. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, and then Angelica, let's practice with you. Uh, let me help you turn your microphone back on. At the bottom of your screen, if I can get it. Can you turn on, Angelica? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, good. So, Angelica, I can't speak Korean. I can. Good. Yes. And just so you guys know, Angelica, you are from Russia, right? Yes. But you also lived in South Korea? Yes, 11 years. So you are trilingual. You can speak Korean and English. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about Spanish? I can't um, me neither. <laughs> okay, good job. All right, good job, class. Let's go to the second one. This one is affirmative. So our answer, our response to it will be different. We need to use the to if it's true for us. Okay, so I have a four-door car and the response would be me too. Or you can use so. Um, what is that? Why am I using do? Because I thought we have have. Are we supposed to say have I? Yes. That's a simple question. As the name, I'm typing it in here. Okay, so the auxiliary for have, when have is the main verb, the auxiliary will be do, does. So if I say, um, I didn't have my book last week. Show sure, this, show this I. Uh, I didn't I, have my book. So I would say me neither, neither or, or neither, do neither I. Neither did I. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So when we're using have as a main verb, the auxiliary is going to be do and does for present and did for past. Okay. The only time we need to use have as an auxiliary is if we have another verb with it. Like look at the number three, haven't taken. Haven't taken. That's why to put have I because this is an auxiliary. Number three, have is the auxiliary. Number two, do and does is the auxiliary. Okay. Any questions about have? No. Okay, so we answer me too. It's okay. And and so do I. Um, let me see. What happens if I don't have a four-door car? How do I respond to this sentence? Do they have an idea? 
I don't uh, have. Neither, neither do I. Or I, I just, I don't either. No, we can't do that too. Because remember, the neither either can only go if you if you have a negative in the first sentence, like number one. Me neither. You say, me you either. Say you don't have. Right, but in this sentence, this is an affirmative sentence, so I cannot use the either neither in my response. I just open it's here not, to say you don't have. No, we're not going to use the have. We don't need to use um, have in our short response. Remember what I did for number one? What did I do? I used three. I can't. I don't. Do we? <laughs> I don't. It would be I don't. Hold on. We okay now. This is tricky, but let's look closely. Remember, with have the auxiliary is do, right? Mm -hmm. So if I want to make um, negative, the first one's affirmative. I want to say negative. I'm going to take the auxiliary and just make it negative. I don't. So I have a four door car. Oh, I don't. Okay. Let's practice this a little bit. Um, two. Two. I have a master's degree. I don't have. I haven't. No. Remember the, just the auxiliary. I. Oh. But you, you, you just hug the, the, the. The sentence, the the question three, right? I no, we're doing number two. Oh. We're practicing. We're practicing with number two because I said I have, I have a master. I don't. There you go. Good. Okay. Um, let's practice with. Let's see, Maha. Yes. Maha. Um. I have a bachelor degree. I don't. Oh, you don't. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of things with I have. Walter, Walter, I have a black car. No, I don't. You don't need to say the no. Okay. No, if you're answering a question. Like if I asked you, Walter, do you have a black car? You would say, no, I don't. Okay. Okay, good. Um, Amani. Yes. Amani, um, I have three children. I don't. Yeah, there you go, good. And um, Angelica, I have a bicycle. Okay, good. Good job, guys. Let's do number three, and then we'll go and check our homework in the book. So number three, number three, um, two. What is the auxiliary verb? Three. Haven't. Haven't. Haven't is the auxiliary. And this one is negative. So this is where we're Respond. If we want to do the short response, we'll say me neither or me either. So I haven't taken a writing class at TCC yet. Me neither. Me neither. Neither have I. Yes, Amani, that's correct. Neither have I too. Yes. Okay, but what if we have taken a writing class? How can we respond to this? I have. Yes, good. We could just say, well, I have, okay? That's the way of responding to say, my, my situation is different from yours, okay? All right, guys, that was a good little practice. Any questions before we check? No. 
Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing this screen and we can see there's everybody. <laughs> now I want to share the answers to the homework. So open your books. Open your books at page 214. Oh, teacher, I share with yeah. you. They they already put the ear the it has in my another account for me. I just see it on the morning. I just saw it. Okay. Okay, good. Yes, I got you. So that is wonderful news. Yes, so maybe I can share with the Fei Yong. <laughs> with Fei Yong? Yes. So I, I download the, I open my account. After that, I save the picture and send to him. Oh, you are so for offering that. Actually, so, I just found out that Fei Young has the e-text. Oh, good. Yeah, they, they put it on his account, so he's okay. Yes. <clears throat> All right, so thank you. Now, we're looking at exercise 13, class 214. Remember, this section is all about auxiliaries, auxiliary verbs. So number three should be isn't. Isn't. His brother isn't. Number four. Aren't. Number four is aren't. Yeah, aren't. two. Thank you. Number five isn't. Okay, can you guys see the screen? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so number four, aren't. Number five, didn't. Number six, hasn't. Haven't. Did anybody miss number three, four, or five? Anybody get these wrong? No. Okay. Didn't, hasn't. Five is kind of tricky. But if everybody's good, okay, we'll keep going. And number six hasn't. Eight isn't. Nine aren't. Ten won't. Okay, so that's all the negatives. The affirmative responses are in part two. Number three, eight, four are. Five did. Six has. Yes. Seven have. Eight is. Nine are. And ten is will. Yes. All right. Let me know if you have if you these and you don't know why. Just turn on your microphone. Ask a question. Okay, um, did anybody do exercise 14? Yes, yes I did it, and I used the same names. The same names? Okay. Yes. Like Kira. Sure. Okay, so if you did it, then we'll go ahead and uh, get the answers for that. But I think it's going to say, yeah, they don't give the answers to this screen. So let me show you what we can do with exercise 14. I'm just going to use Kira and Yuki, okay? Kira isn't hungry right now, but Yuki is. Yes. He is. Okay. Number three, Kira lives nearby, but Yuki, what? Doesn't. Doesn't, good. Auxiliary would be doesn't. So this is for exercise 14, okay? Um, number four, Kira can speak Russian, just whatever language, Russian, Spanish, whatever. But Yuki, what? Can, cannot. Right, can't. Yuki can't, okay. Number five would be uh, Kira plays a musical instrument, but Yuki doesn't. Number six, Kira wasn't here last year, but Yuki was. 
Mm -hmm. Number seven, Kira will be at home tonight, but you can't. And uh, let's see, number eight, Kira doesn't wear a ring, but Yuki does. Yes. Yes. And number nine, Kira didn't study here last year, but Yuki did. Yes. And number 10, Kira has lived here for a long time, but Yuki hasn't. Yuki hasn't, okay. Anybody have a question about those? Okay, Amani, you're kind of quiet over there. Did you get those? Any questions? No, any, no, I'm good. Okay, good. All right, then exercise 15, you guys can see on the screen on the right side. Check your answers. Mm, it's very small. It's small. Okay, let me let me make So number one is didn't. Number two wasn't. Number three did. Number four didn't. Number five could. Number six can't. Number seven, don't. And number eight, won't. Okay, that was the listening practice. So you guys, were you all able to get in there and, and get your audio? Did anybody have trouble getting the audio from uh, uh, my English lab? Only okay. different Okay, two, what did you say? Yes, I have uh, the number two and number seven. I differ a little bit, but I, I will okay. try to listen again and find out. Yes, me too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number, seven, a dozen. number seven gives me a dozen, and number two, like, okay. we're, we're not, not the worst. Oh. Sure. Okay, Can you good. repeat number one, two, and four? Yes, number one didn't. Two number wasn't. two, yeah, two wasn't. And number four didn't. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to exercise let's see we skipped 16 i didn't like that one so we skipped it let's do we started this in class in our video lesson and i just want to go over the the answers so um we did number one and two in our video lesson let's yeah. look at number three marco is and Omar is two. The reason we're using two is because a two it means it's Addition. it's agreeing it's agreeing with an affirmative statement. Okay. Mm. So number three, A and B, those are affirmative statements. Affirmative statement. So we have Omar is two. And we have neither, uh, I'm sorry, so is Omar. So is Omar, yeah. Okay, anybody have questions? If you do, you can just turn on your microphone. You know, you know what to do. <laughs> Okay, let's go to exercise eight, page 217. Number two is do. Number three is. Number four are. 
Number five, did. Number six, has. Number seven, have. Number eight, is. Number nine, are. Number 10, will. Okay, and part two is on the next page. Number two, don't. Number three, isn't. Number four, aren't. And notice, guys, how I pronounce number four. We do not say aren't. We have to aren't. say aren't. 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 Yeah. Okay, number five, didn't. Number six, has. Seven, has. Eight, is. Nine, are. And ten, will. Okay, we're we're almost done. I think there's one more. Wait, no, is that, that yes. is it? Yeah, I gave you guys easy homework. So again, turn on if you have a question. Otherwise, we will continue with our day. Um, I just have a question about the e-text book. Yes. Um, so I'm in my English lab, and I've seen your previous video, uh, the syllabus video from last week, and yes. you had that, like, on top of introduction, you had e-text book, but do you know why I don't, I don't have it? Yeah. It is actually a set that you have to purchase. I didn't realize that until uh, a few days into our class. But yeah, it's about $10 and it's it's just the e-text purchase. So you would have to go back to the Buy My Lab and find a way to get that if you want it. Yeah, it's an extra call. But uh, I can either do that or I can just uh, do exercises like, like this on um, just how it's showing on my English lab. Okay. Lab is the practice. Yeah, that's the practice exercises. But my English lab will not give you the, the practices that are in the book. So the book um. is a separate separate exercises yeah so tell my students i don't grade your answers in the book so yeah the book is really good to have because i i'm teaching and i give homework but if you can do the work and you know listen to the videos and you know practice on your own and do the the lab exercises online you don't really have to have your book. Okay. But I'll tell you, Angelica, if you're interested, um, I believe in each chapter that in my English lab, there is a section where you can go to where it says grammar notes. And I believe it gives you all of the charts, the grammar charts that are in my book. And it kind of shows you how to use the different words and the structures and things. So look for grammar notes. Oh, I think what I did some exercises yesterday and on the right side there was like a lamp and I think that was the you press it and it showed yeah. you. I, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep, I think that's it right there. So really I think you'll be okay if you don't actually have the, the book or the e-text. Okay. Um. Okay, any other questions? Anybody have questions here? Nope. Okay, we're doing good. Um, so we talked about, so far we've talked about the connectors and but so 
as well as either, neither, so, and to. Okay, so that's most. Today we're going to finish up this chapter. We're going to talk about because, although, and even though. So if, you with, if you're with me in the book, look at page 221. Let's start with because. Okay, so you probably already know that we use because to show reason, right? The reason something happened. But what I want to look at closer is the sentence structure on how to use because. So when we have that has because with a subject and verb, what we're doing is creating what's called an adverb clause. So what we've got is a main, like for example, on the left side of your screen, the green letters, you see he drank water. That's a main clause. It does not have the connector in it, okay? But under another clause called an adverb clause, because he was thirsty. And what we can do is put these two clauses together create one sentence. So we can say, he drank water because he was thirsty. Now, something to remember with this, the main clause is always a, a complete idea. It can be a sentence. I can write, he drank water and put a period, and then it's a complete sentence, right? But the adverb is not a complete sentence by itself. It's called a dependent clause, okay? What I teach in my writing class. So you guys are getting the best of both worlds. You get grammar and writing together. Um, if you look on your screen, letter D, because he was thirsty, that is what we call a dependent clause. It's a sentence by itself. It needs to have a main clause with it. Okay? Does everybody get that? Got that. Okay, so we're doing good. So we've got because, and then we have a subject and verb, he was. Okay? Together that creates an adverb clause, which is one of dependent clause. This is how I explain dependent clauses to my students um, in my writing class. When you think of main clause dependent, we as adults are independent, right? We do not need someone to come every morning. We don't need someone to take us places or help us. Sometimes we do, but most of the time we are independent. Dependent, dependents are like children, okay? If I am alone in the house for the whole day, um, my house might be burned to the ground when I get back. I mean, I don't know what happens when kids are left alone. It could be dangerous. It could be crazy. Because they're dependent, they need to have an independent person to care for them. So that's how dependent clauses are. All right? That's how dependent clauses are. They need to have a independent clause. Yeah. So here's my review, and we're going to practice together. Clause is a group of words that has a subject and a conjugated verb. Independent clause can stand alone. Dependent clause cannot stand alone. So every time you have a because clause, you got to have a main clause to go with it. Okay, so we're going to practice with these. I was hungry, so I ate. Um, let me ask, um, let's see who's in there. Amani, can you turn your microphone on? 
how can I say this sentence, but I want to use the word because instead of so? Uh, be, okay. I ate because I was hungry. Yep. You got it. Okay, good. And then, Walter, I have a question for you. In this sentence that Amani said, what is the adverb clause? I was hungry. Actually, we're going to include because in the adverb clause. Oh, because I was mm -hmm. hungry. Yes, yes. In this situation, these with these words we need to include that a connector word as part of the clause so yes because I was hungry that's that's our adverb clause okay good let's do another one um, Maha can you turn your microphone on yeah. and I want you to tell me another way to say this sentence but I want you to use because The one with the alarm clock. Which one? Which my alarm clock didn't yeah. to go off. Mm -hmm. okay. um, uh, I my alarm didn't go off because I am um, because um, my phone doesn't work like this. Um, yeah, but I want you to use the I was late in your sentence because oh, I because I was late. My uh, my alarm clock didn't go off. OK, close. That's really close. But we need to put because with the part of the sentence that is the reason. OK, the reason. Um, is my alarm clock didn't go off. So we have to put because with that. Because my alarm clock didn't go off, I was late. Mm -hmm. You cannot say my alarm clock didn't go off because I was late because the reason is not being late. That's incorrect. The reason was the alarm. The alarm did not ring. That's the reason. So we have to put because in front of it. Now, class, you see the difference between Amani's sentence and then this, this sentence at the bottom. Look at where because is. Hold on. Somebody's got their microphone on. You left it on. OK. <laughs> a little bit of noise. Turn your microphone off unless you want to say something. Oops, that's my writing class. Okay, there we go. So that, that way it will be quiet. Okay, so what happened, I, I ate because I was hungry. We put because in the middle of the sentence, but we still have the reason attached to it. I was hungry. That's a reason. In the second sentence, the one at the bottom, the reason is the alarm clock didn't go off, so I put because in front of it. But you can see here, class, that it's okay to move the reason or the uh, adverb clause at the beginning of the sentence or at the end. I ate because I was hungry, or you can say because I was hungry, I ate. Because I was hungry, I ate. Okay, the second one, because my alarm clock didn't go off, comma, I was late. Or you can say, I was late because my alarm clock didn't go off. Okay? The difference is, notice if you start the sentence with this type of connector, you need to have a comma after the adverb clause. And there's a little more explanation 
on page 221. Well, I say explanation. Nope, it doesn't give you an explanation. It just gives you examples. Page 221, letter E. You can see letter E, because he was thirsty, comma, he drank water. All right? So don't forget that comma. If you want to start the sentence with the connector because, you need to have a comma after the adverb clause. Okay, and in just a moment, we're going to practice this, doing this. Anybody have a question about this? Any questions? Okay, let's go to the next two connectors, and then we'll practice all of these. Although and even though. So flip over in your book, page 223. Although is another type of subordinator. It's called a subordinator because it creates a dependent clause. Okay, here's the example. Although many classes were canceled, and you see that comma there, right? Comma, grammar two stayed open. So this is one sentence. I'm starting with my connector word, and I have a subject and verb. Classes were canceled. And then I have another subject and verb in my main clause, grammar two, and then stayed. Okay, that's the main clause, grammar two stayed open. So this type of connector, although and even though, these, these are showing contrast. They're not giving us a reason. They're just showing what we call an unexpected result or contrast. Okay, so um, another example may be, um, although I tried to register for a writing class, comma, I didn't finish registering. You know, that would be a contrast sentence. Does anybody want to share some examples? Maybe you can talk about some plans of yours that have changed. Like you could say, although I wanted to come to the United States when I was a child, I didn't have the opportunity. That would be one example. Can anybody think of an example sentence with although? I can do it. I can try. Okay, do it. Although I'd like to go to Paris with my sister, I don't have enough money. Yeah, that's perfect. Although I'd like to go to Paris with my sister, I don't have enough money. You can also change that sentence. We can move the, the clause and we can say, I don't have enough money. Although. Right? Oh, wait, we would probably say, I don't have enough money to go to Paris, although I would like to go. You know, something like that. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Fayon. Oh, Fayon. Hello. Hello. We have a um, we have a that joined us today. Her name is Angelica. Hello. 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 Hello, Amelie. Hello. And I can hear some rain in the background. I love the sound of that. It's not raining where I am. Okay, anyways, it's distractions. Uh, the, the, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, so we're, we are on page 223, and we're talking about even though, although, and because. So here's an example with even though. It has the same meaning, okay? Just another way to write it. It says, even though my first year in the United States was very tough, I met a lot of people and learned a lot of English. Okay, again, this is a sentence of contrast. We're showing 
we're showing something positive and then something negative or something good something bad we have unexpected result um, the first year was really tough but I met a lot of people and learned a lot of English right it's kind of has a similar meaning as but so let's think of some example sentences I want to hear from either two or Amani, Maha, Angelica. Um, what are what's an example of a sentence we can use with even though? Even though. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't work in, I still have enough money for living. Okay. Make sure we're using correct verb. Even though you want to use past or present? Past. Okay, even though I didn't, I didn't, didn't work. Work. I still I, have money for living. Okay, and we have past, right? Even though I didn't work, I still had enough ah, money yes. to live. I still had enough money to live. That's a good one. Anybody else want to give an example that hasn't shared one yet? Uh, I can try. Okay, go ahead. Um, oh, sometimes my dog destroy my house. I still love him. Yes, that's a good one. Dog sometimes destroys my house. I still love him. Oh, I have to put destroys, right? Not destroy. Destroys. Right. Check your tenses. Most of the time, these tenses will be the same on both sides. Destroys my house. And then I still love him. Yeah. And here's another example sentence. This time I'm the middle of the sentence many businesses have stayed open even though covid regulations forced many changes or forced changes okay all right guys so i it's time for us to now, I'm going to try something that I have never done with Blackboard Collaborate before. I'm going to try to put you in a group with a couple of students that only you guys can hear each other. And then after five minutes, we're going to come back and you're going to share some example sentences with the class. Okay, so what I want you to do right now, if you have your cell phone, or you can do a screenshot. I want you to take a picture of this, or this is also in your book. If you have your book, look at page 226, exercise 34. Okay, so either take a picture of these sentences or to page 226. Because I'm going to, to stop sharing the screen. Did everybody get it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you got yes. it, right? Exercise 34. Good job. So what I'm going to do, I hope this is going to work. If it doesn't, that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, I want to put you guys in groups because we have six people today. Yeah. So we're going to do two different groups two groups so let me see yeah I'm gonna do it like this two groups um, okay hold on just a second so you can see two is look at the example it says last night you were tired did you go to bed early and then a person says, yes, I went early because I was tired. 
So we're using because if if we have uh, a reason, and then if we have a sentence, we can say no, I didn't go to bed early, even though I was sleepy. Okay. So we're just practicing either using because or even though. And actually, I'm going to do with one partner. So Amani and two. Amani and two, both of you are going to be in a group where you guys can talk together. Nobody else is saying. And then we're going to have Angelica and Fei Young. Together, you guys will be a group. And then Maha and Walter. Okay? So you have, um, you guys have five minutes. Five minutes starting now, so it's at 12.29. At 12.35, we're going to join back together, and you're going to type your answers. Okay? Is everybody good? Yes. All right. So I'm putting you in the groups. <laughs> this is hilarious. Can I join a group? That's my question. <laughs> 